today I'm going to be showing you how to service a flat pedal on a mountain bike. The same method works for most pedals, but my pedal here is a race face Chester, which is a very common mountain bike pedal, and this is what I'm going to be servicing. The things you'll need are your pedal, a 5 16 socket, 6 millimeter Allen wrench, some bike grease, and some paper towels. All right, the first thing we need to do is take your Allen wrench, flip the pedal around, and undo the top. This is just a simple left to unscrew. All right, don't lose that bolt. It keeps the dust out. After we're done, you can see in here, there is another one. And now we need to do that one, same thing. Put that next to your other one so that you don't lose it. Now the next thing we need to do is the hardest part. Your Allen wrench goes in this side of the pedal. Or you can put a normal wrench, adjustable wrench around this part if you don't have this little hole right here. Then you take your socket and whatever wrench you have for that socket and you turn the wrench left. This can be very hard. There it goes. Just going to undo mine the rest of the way. Just keep on turning it left. After it's all unscrewed, the spindle should just come right out. And with that, the nut should be in your socket. So don't lose that. Put it next to all the others. Now with your spindle, what you're gonna do is you're gonna place the pedal shell to the side. You're going to grab some paper towels and you're going to wipe all the grease off. Now this is not a complete rebuild. So there's a little seal right here, which I will not be replacing even though it probably needs it. Just wipe all the grease off. And once that's all off, Grab your grease and another paper towel. So now you have your grease. You wanna take your spindle and grease it right up. Then with your fingers, you should have gloves on. I just don't have gloves. So I'm gonna wash my hands right after this. You take that grease and you put it all around on the seal, on the spindle, and you see that? That should be good, nice and greased up. Now that that's greased up, I'm gonna go wash my hands. Now that my hands are all clean, you should be warned that this stuff, if you're using it, stains a ton, so be very careful. I'm also gonna put my cap back on, and we should be done with the grease for now. Next thing to do is clean out the shell of the pedal, because there will be old grease and dirt in that. I will be doing that at my sink just by spraying some water down in it. So you're going to find the side with the open hole that matches your spindle and you're going to put it right back, just like that. You can already feel it's very loose and nice. All right, next thing you want to do is put the Allen key in the bottom. And the easiest way to do this is take the little bolt that you need installed and put it right in the socket. After you've done that, all you need to do is tighten this right up. After you've tightened this up, make sure it's pretty tight, but not too tight, because you still want it to spin freely. It's all installed, put that to the side. Now we want to take the second thing that we removed from the pedal, push it in there, take your Allen key, and just tighten that right up. Make sure it goes in perfectly straight. It's very easy to cross thread these. Just be very careful. you're done with that just make sure this is very tight this you can tighten almost as much as you want because it's there to keep water and dust out tighten that all the way and then grab the last cap that you have and install that too once that's all tightened up the very last step that you need to do is if you found this information helpful or enjoyed it or learned anything at all, 
please like and subscribe. Maybe leave a comment how I can make these better. And you can see that our pedal is very loose and it should be a lot better now. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.